All right, so let's get into the Money in the Bank qualifying matches. So we first saw Becky Lynch versus Sonya Deville. So Sonya comes out with Chelsea Green, obviously, and uh, eventually Trish and Zoe also come out and they watch the match from the entrance ramp. And I mean, the match is fine. It's it's exactly what we thought it was going to be. Chelsea gets involved a few times. Becky throws her into the barricade and Sonya like multiple times. I was like, what is going on, Chelsea? (laughs) Chelsea got a little edge to her. I know. I was like, ooh, girl. Like, she was getting thrown pretty hard. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and because of Chelsea getting involved, uh, Becky does end up winning with a main handle slam, which, you know, this is... this is These two Money in the Bank qualifying matches for the women were very obvious to me. Uh, we knew that Becky was going to be put in this match, and we were talking... So, so, Maddie on Twitter, in case you guys don't follow him, he he's a wrestling fan, and I was commenting on one of his tweets because he was talking about how he really wants to see the money in the bank matches be people that are not in the title picture or have like maybe not been champion before. And we've talked about that too, where it feels like that's how the money in the bank matches should be because the whole point is that they get the briefcase. So that's their opportunity to become champion. And so Right now, it looks like that's how they're going with the men's. I mean, from who they yeah, have man. in the match okay. so far, they've not been champion. Except Nakamura, he's been champion. Um, no, he but he's not been universal champion? Nope. Really? Okay. Well, he doesn't necessarily need money in the bank, I guess is just my bigger point. But uh, maybe at this point, because he's freshly returned. And the two that we have coming up on SmackDown definitely have not been champions. The women's looks like that's about the same, except for like who's in the match so far, which we knew Becky was going to be in the match. It's in the UK. They're going to have her in the O2. You need Becky Lynch at the O2. And Zoe's now, we we know Zoe's in the match, which I'll get to in a second. It it just, it makes sense. So, so far, I think they're doing a pretty good job about following that because, you know, there was a year where like Brock Lesnar won it. Like, come on. Like, at least we don't. Brock, baby. We at least we don't have you know Charlotte, Becky, Bailey, like all of them in the match. You know what I mean? Like that's good at least for the women. Um, and I'm excited that maybe that's a thing that Triple H is trying to implement now going forward. That it is people who have not been champion. 